<sighs> Hello and welcome to a everything else video on this fine Thursday. There's is it Thursday? Is it Thursday or Friday? I don't know, but for me it's Monday. But welcome to you on whatever. Okay, I digress. Let's get right into it. Now, today I have something a little exciting for you, I hope, I think. As you've already read the title, Geometry Art, Making Logos with Geometry Art, or something like that. Have a look at this. This is uh, the Twitter logo. I'm sure you can make out the Twitter logo if you use Twitter, of course. And what's particularly exciting about this is that uh, the Twitter logo was created using geometrical shapes, using circles. Uh, they put together a bunch of different circles and they got out this logo and that to me is super fascinating It's super exciting. And so my thoughts are let's see what else we can make with some geometry art All right, so for our first masterpiece I'm gonna start off just as the Twitter logo did with some circles. Hold up. I need to revise my plan of attack I'm not entirely sure what we will be able to make out of this, but I'm excited to try it I'm very excited to try it Oh crap, see these ones intersected and I don't know what I'm hitting to make them do that. But we'll just delete it and start a new one. <sighs> Alright, let's go with this. Uh, let's see what we can make out of this. Um, right off the bat as I look at it, I'm picturing a bunch of circles. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's just let's just start to fill it in and see what what just comes to mind. I don't really see any type of logo or anything. Oh snap! I'm starting to see something. That was a bad move. That was a bad move. Uh-huh. 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 It looks like a fish. It looks like a fish. Can we get a fish out of this? Oh. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I'm gonna add some more circles. Because I have a little something something up my sleeve. There we go. So, um, this is our lovely logo that we made. It is a, uh, it's a, it's a flying fish. It's a flying mutant fish. So here's the scenario. The scenario is I'm creating a game company and my, my game, my game company is called Flying Mutant Fish Studios. And here is my logo. All right, let's 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 try this again, but with a little let's let's do it. Let's not limit it to only just circles. Let's also include circles, squares, triangles, diamonds. Maybe I mean I guess a square is kind of like a diamond. Let's just include more. All right, polygon base. Let's go over to a circle and do a circle. Ooh, I wonder what we're gonna be able to create with these shapes. It's exciting, you know, we're taking absolutely nothing and then we're identifying something within that nothing. We're, we're artists, we're creators. It's exciting. I feel like we're lacking polygons, so let's have another polygon. But uh, I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna call it there. Now let's see, let's see what we're gonna come up with here. Hmm, hmm. I want to do something a little more intricate. Let's go for like, I don't know, let's just, let's just start plugging stuff in. All right, I feel confident with this spot. I feel like it's a confident good start. That's a little too, yeah, okay. Now I understand why squares aren't good. Cause that these angles are too 90 degrees. They're they're not they're not too you can't be too 90 degrees. You're either 90 degrees or you're not. These angles are 90 degrees, which like 
nine degrees in nature is just kind of like, eh, it's not easy to come by. So now I understand why you omit them. I'm not seeing anything here. We might have wasted with this one. Nothing's a waste. Nothing is ever a waste. We learn to not do this again. Hold on, I'm seeing something. I am seeing something. I am seeing something. Okay, I think I got it. I got something for you guys. Check this out. Okay, are you ready for this one? And Q. <laughs> the NASCAR Association. I don't know. That's just what came to my mind as I was, as I was making this uh, logo. Yeah, that's pretty cool, I guess. Okay, for this final one, let's do another approach. Let's this time, let's uh, get something in mind beforehand and aim to make that as we uh, create the geometry. And on my mind, I am thinking a rocket ship or a comet, a rocket ship. I like rocket ships. Who doesn't like rocket ships? I think that's a great symbol for curiosity. So let's aim for a rocket ship. <laughs> Our rocket ship's gonna be funky, man. It's gonna be so funky. And, I, and I, I'm not sure if that's good or not way. All right, guys, this is where I'm gonna stop. Wish me luck. Here we go. Of course, the top. Of course. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh boy, what an interesting rocket ship. All right, all right, we're getting somewhere. All right, we're getting somewhere. Need to fill these. Oh man, what an interesting logo. I for sure think that it's best to start with something in mind and uh, aim for that. Now I'm just going to experiment because I'm curious what would happen if, well I guess I can't feel that anymore. Dude this is interesting, when you aim for something, it looks very interesting um like this is reminding me of like ice cream some weird like ice cream deal but that's not what we aim to make so let's go back to our original plan Spaceship alien <laughs> thingy majigger. It's interesting. I like it. Let's clean it up a bit. You know, now that I look at it from another angle, it looks like it could even be some sort of creature or something like a little succulent, like a like a leech or like a brain probing creature or maybe even like a gun, a flower. I don't know. It's cool though. It's cool. I like this. I like the geometry art thingy. I, I think that I might want to do some sort of project where I'm a lot more serious with uh, the geometry, making sure that everything is like uh, symmetrical and all that. I think you could create some really cool like design projects with this. Although Photoshop, at least uh, from the knowledge that I have on Photoshop, it's not the easiest to do this because the guidelines, you can't really make 
circular guidelines. I know that you can do the the square guidelines. Anyhow, I digress. Yeah, I encourage you all to try some of this geometry art stuff. It was a lot of fun to do. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these logos other than let them exist in this video. But uh, I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you got something out of it. And uh, I'll see you guys next month.